The other day I shared a little Instagram reel about MA3 propaganda that I am falling for and I said a color coded show file is a clean show file. Well someone messaged me and said how do you color code your show file and I would love to talk about that today. For me the most important part of color coding is serving the show file that I'm in. So I'm actually going to show two different show files that I've color coded a little differently. This is my show file from the creek, a church where I used to work. I've posted many videos in this room and Instagram reels in the past. And my primary color code here are in my window screens and my groups. And I'd really like to start with groups today. I do think group colors are pretty individual, but I'm happy to share mine. My color code groups have been formed over many years with some slight tweaks. So here's a funneled picture of one of the first times I color coded my show file. This was almost 10 years ago on Vista. Even though this was my first attempt, these core colors are still the ones that I use today and are ingrained in my brain. My second attempt, the colors got a little more saturated and this is far more in line with how I program today. And then I spent a lot of time in theater on ETC EOS and then I made the jump to MA3. And I spent forever not color coding my show file. This is my show file in 2022 for Christmas. And as you can see, I dropped in that seafoam color that I like for my spot fixtures and dropped in an orange for incandescence, but I really didn't do much with appearances for the longest time. My show file just looked like a blob of gray. And here's my show file for 2023. So we're not doing much better. It looks like I dropped in a little appearance on this video group, but it still just looks like a load of gray. And when I jump ahead to 2024, it looks like we have the groups colored in, but there's still quite a bit of gray in this file. So what's crazy is it wasn't really until 2025, earlier this year, that I really started color coding more aspects of my show file. If I look back on my old files, this just feels like a sea of gray and it's almost hard to remember where stuff is even though they're placed physically in the same place. Let me jump back into my most recent show file in this room. But fun little bit of history, fun little bit of jokes there. On to the actual color code. That's better. So this might be confusing to immediately look at, but what I want you to see is my groups pool is still here but I have my view pool added here, which are the same as these buttons on the side. And I have an appearances pool over here. So I personally, for buttons, groups, that sort of thing, like to make these dim appearances. These are all just created by me. So if I edit this, this is just red, but with an alpha of 50%. And 100% white alpha, the whole nine yards on the actual image color. And that creates this uh, effect where you have a dimmer uh, color where the text is more readable, but when you hover over it, it brightens up. That's just the way that I like them to look. You could do, if you wanted, bright red, where you get an effect like this, where it's just bright red all the time, but it's still gray around it. If you wanna be absolutely chaotic, you could do something like this. You have all sorts of options. If you absolutely want, you could drop pictures into appearances and NDI feeds and that sort of thing. I kind of touched on that on my lock screen video, but today is not the video for that. We are just talking about pure color codes in their simple form. So for my actual groups, I like to create an all group that's green. I just have every fixture that I would realistically use in that group. If I need to black out everything, it lives in the all group. And then I like for my wash fixtures to be this cyan color here. I do my first set of spots in this kind of seafoam aquamarine color. If I have a second spot fixture type, they get to be yellow. I like for my blinders to be orange. This cyan color has been a couple of fixture types over the years. If I have beam fixtures, I like beam fixtures to be cyan. But at the creek, I had these Cupix pixel strip fixtures and I didn't mind them being cyan. As I said earlier, color coding, especially my group setting, is all about color coding in a way that makes sense to me, catches my attention in a room that I'm in. So this room doesn't have beams, it has Cupix. I happen to allow my effects to be cyan in this case. Doesn't have to always be that way. Sometimes I use Titan tubes in that room, which are another effects type of pixel map fixture. I let those be pink. Pink has historically been miscellaneous effects. 
for me. This dark blue color is one that I historically haven't used as a color code for groups, but I needed an extra color and dark blue was available, so sometimes you end up color coding that way. Nothing wrong with that. Red is a group that I call video. In the case of that group, it is every fixture that I need to black out a room for, let's say a video playing on a projector screen, but it doesn't black out the house lights. So it's all fixtures that I would need to black out the stage, except for house lights or Resolume layers, that sort of thing, but the Resolume master is contained within that group. And I let that group be red because red and green are two colors that immediately catch my attention. They're very bold. I immediately know that those are my two most, I guess, air quote, powerful groups. So for my practical fixtures, they get this lighter orange color that on the appearance I call dim orange incandescent. Feel free to steal that if you like it. I like it because it feels like a warm white fixture. And so I immediately know that those are practical fixtures and that's how I choose to reserve them. And then purple I reserve for LED fixtures that perform a practical purpose like lighting musicians, lighting singers, whatever. Typically it's a practical type of band light. And I like to reserve white for house lights. So for my views, there's not as much a practical reason as to why things are color coded the way that they are so much as the colors that I felt a tab should have as I assign them. So there's no real rhyme or reason here outside of macros being red because A, macros in MA are already represented by the color red. The run page, which in this case was for volunteer operators, is green because green means go for them. Program is orange. I let appearances be white because that kind of stands out and I like the tab where you change the way that things look is one that stands out. But feel free to steal these colors for layouts if you like, but this is one that's far more personal in my opinion. But there's the breakdown of what is color coded how on that end. Oh wait, we changed again. So one last little color code tidbit that I wanted to share. This is my Tomahawks file, which is a bar venue that I bust shows at. I've showed this show file in a couple of different videos and it's a constant work in progress. I've done a live stream kind of digging into this. I did another live stream where I was just programming things on it. I don't know that this show file will ever be complete, but it's always one that I like to tinker on and it's getting more and more advanced and better and better. But here recently I added colors to my pools for position, color, gobo pools, dimmer pools. So I wanted to share that. I don't know that I would recommend these specific color codes because I don't know if I like them yet or not. This is very new for me, but I think it looks a lot better than just default color pools for all of these. So if you would like to steal them for dimmer, since I think a dimmer value, I think a practical fixture or an actual dimmer, AKA incandescent fixture. So I like using the same incandescent color that I talked about earlier, that other appearance. So there is that if you want to steal it. These also let you type in hex values, which is convenient. For position, I went with this uh, kind of light green color. For color, I went with this yellow. I think I like this one the least. And for Gobo, I went with this purple. But what I've kind of found is alpha 100, but cap the actual RGB values at 50%. So that way they still highlight when you click. Because if you click in a pool, this root highlights and this kind of matches the default style like that but it doesn't mean that your colors are absolutely overwhelming. So for example, if I set this to 100%, one of these pools clearly sticks out. But if you wanted to make a pool stick out, that's a great way to do it. So it's just a little peek into how I color code and why. It's not an exact science at all, clearly, but hopefully it's helpful to all of you guys out there. And if it's been helpful, leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe for more learning. Stick around, guys. We'll keep going. See ya.